So this time we're going to take a vector and we're going to multiply it by a scalar. Now you've multiplied a, a um, matrix by a scalar before. A scalar is just a number. Multiplying a vector by a scalar is not going to be that complicated either. So we're doing all of this graphically again. So here's a here's our vector u. Now let's make another vector. Might make it look more like this one. Let's call that vector v. All right. So there's our two vectors. Now, what if I wanted to draw a vector um, to u? Okay. Now, vector to u is just going to be, I might make u a bit shorter. You can probably guess why. Vector to u is still going to be in the same direction as vector u, but it's going to be twice as long. So it's about that long. So, um, yep. Now I've lost my spot. That is vector 2u. Same direction, twice as long. Uh, if I wanted to do vector uh, half u, you could probably guess it's going to be half. Now, if I wanted to do vector, uh, we've already done this one actually, if I wanted to do vector negative u or negative 1u, that's going to be equal to the same vector but in the other direction. So same direction but going in the opposite way. And now to combine those, if I want to do negative 2u, same, same direction but backwards and then twice the length. Okay, and that's vector negative 2u. So, now that we've done that, I guess we could do one final step, which is combine u and v, combine our knowledge of addition of vectors, and also multiplication of vectors. So now I'm going to sketch the vector 2u minus 3v. So, what does 2u look like? Well, it's twice as long as that. We've already done this one. It goes from there up to there. That's about twice as long as that. Good, that's 2u. Now, negative 3v, I might just think about that for a minute. Negative 3v, uh, this is v. Multiplying it by 3 is going to make it 3 times as big. Making it negative 3v is going to turn it around. So, it's going to look, I'll just draw it over here, it's going to look like that. One. Two, three, that's about long enough. Um, and going in the other direction. Now that's negative uh, 3v. And I'm going to take negative 3v and add it to 2u, which means I'm going to take the tail of it and stick it onto the head of it like that. Move it like that. Now that's negative 3v. Which means, and this is the important bit, don't forget this. 2u minus 3v results in a new vector, which is this line here. And that new line we can call 2u minus 3v. Okay, so we've multiplied by a scalar and then we've used that multiply by a scalar principle to now be able to multiply by scalars and then add or subtract vectors as well.